Hi, this is Greg Neat, and I'm going to be talking to you about the results from our Student Achievement Grant funded by the NEA. And this was uh, intended to build a hybrid go-kart. We did all this work in our tech shop at our school, which is a place where we teach students how to apply knowledge that they've attained from their core math and physics classes to solving real-world problems. And again, the problem we were going after was to build a hybrid go-kart. We broke this problem down into two parts. We first had the students design and build what we called mini hybrids. These were small six inch cars that would allow them to learn the basic vocations needed to make the full scale hybrid. But this made it, we, we wanted to make around 20 of them and this was a, a way to engage many, many students, as many as 60, to, uh, to work in the basic vocations. It was important to me that the students learned how to use uh, rulers, calipers, scales, and voltmeters, learn how, how to convert units from one to another, and buried in here are the core math, some of the very important core math standards. The uh, basic vocations included welding, uh, using a drill press, uh, milling, uh, measuring, cutting with a bandsaw, and then the pieces would all have to get integrated together. And once they did that, like I said, there was about 20, we wanted to make around 20. And then it was important that uh, there was some quality control. So as they came off the assembly line, the students put each one through a battery of tests that were all the same. And they would measure the how much travel they went after they went down a certain incline. They also measured the straightness of how far it went after it traveled a certain distance. And if there was, a, and they did statistics on those results to figure out if there were any outliers. After that, uh, we had a number of competitions. One of them was to give each uh, group, two or three students in a group, a rubber band and see how far they could make their car go. Uh, that was both entertaining and very educational. Um, also, some students outfitted the mini hybrid with an electric motor, and they used in order. They also, uh, in order to do that, they applied knowledge from their physics and uh, math classes to predict the speed of the car under certain conditions. And they were able to do this uh, within a few percent. And this knowledge, as well as the knowledge from all the previous uh, vocational work uh, went into the design and build of the full-scale hybrid. So uh, at the outset of that, uh, the transition between the mini hybrid to the full-scale, the students decided they really wanted to do the whole thing. We toyed with the idea of purchasing an old golf cart and focusing on the trade-offs between the gas and the electric, but they really wanted to build the entire thing. So in order to do that, they needed to understand the steering mechanisms. So they did some prototype work in that area. And then they proceeded to follow the same basic steps that they did with the mini hybrid, where they would design in CAD and come up with basic concepts. And then they would look at the, the individual designs of each of the parts. Uh, the full scale, however, was more complicated. And we had to use some experts in the field in the community. So students went to uh, visit with um, some experts and talk over some of the issues to get some answers. They also worked. They also went to the stores to purchase the hardware that it was uh, made out of. Most of the parts were fabricated in our tech shop with our tools by our students. Uh, as the pieces came off the assembly line, they were integrated. And there were three basic stopping points to evaluate how we were doing. The first one was the bare chassis was, uh, with just wheels and a steering system. And we rolled it down the hill and made sure it went straight, just like we did with the mini hybrids. And then uh, the second integration point was uh, testing it with the gas engine. It was a six and a half horsepower uh, souped up lawnmower engine. And then the final uh, testing point was when we had the integrated electric and gas, electric motor and gas engine. And that's the state it's in right now. It was configured in the same form as a Prius, 
One of the design objectives was to be for it to be reconfigurable. So at a future date, we will take the gas and electric uh, apart and reconfigure it in different configurations. And as the pieces came together, we went through similar steps where we tested the uh, go-kart in, and we did this in our uh, quad at our school, where we would test it under electric motor conditions, gas conditions, combined conditions, uh, evaluated its speed, lots of statistics, again, places uh, for applying core curriculum from both math and the uh, physics classes to solving what is now a, a pretty relevant problem. Wow. That's, that's